Kevin Feiner. So I decided to change mine. So it's more about the journey than the destination. So I decided I'm talking about leaving my cubicle, leaving corporate America, joining a small consulting company and a startup. And I was inspired by Steve Jobs. Uh, I think this is a great quote. This is kind of why I decided to do this uh, this way. Uh, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. Um, as I think is important to do occasionally. Look back and see what you've done and what the importance is. For me, my work life from 92 to 2007, five companies building user experience teams, I ended up being more like Lester from American Beauty than Dickie Fox and the Jerry Maguire. I would get up in the morning and it would be the best part of my day. But my dad used to tell me, don't leave a sinking ship without a lifeboat in the water. So don't just quit your job without any idea of what you're going to do next. So I really had to give some thought to what's coming. What do I want to do? What do I love? What's important to me? So I had a choice. I could either get my ass back in the hamster wheel or I could work extremely hard at what I love. But you have to know what it is that you love. For me, I really love doing the work, doing user experience, uh, design, things like that. So one of my tips is look at people that you know. Gamal Research and Design was a company that I had worked with. I was a customer of theirs. And I joined them a couple years ago and started the Minneapolis office. Yeah, that's my home. So they're based in Milwaukee. I'm based here. What does a user-centered design firm do? I go out, I watch people interact with software. I look at their environment. I create work artifacts. We look at personas. This helps development teams then design based on what those people in the field are working on. We create wireframes. I'm sure a ton of people here do this type of stuff. I'm preaching to the choir. But you take conceptual models, prototypes, sometimes it's paper, sometimes it's an actual working model. And then you turn it over to the really talented people that, can't, that I can't do, which is to take those things and put it into a visual design. So this is what I do at my job, not this part, this goes to the really super talented people, um, but I present them with the ideas of what we're trying to accomplish. In addition, for any of you that are deciding to leave corporate America, create an LLC. I created one, it's on the side of my additional job, but don't skimp when getting started. Go with good design for a logo on your website, good lawyers, good accountants, that's not where you wanna skimp. Meanwhile, back at the ranch at the same summer I left, we decided to homeschool our kids so we could do cool things like building aqueducts in our house. The great thing is, finding curriculum, super easy. Finding homeschool planners suck, really hard to do. So I had an idea then based on that problem, a web-based homeschool planner so people can spend time with their kids, not their computer. Kathy Sierra, one of my favorites, don't buy this because we kick ass, buy it because we want you to kick ass. So in the product that uh, my business partner and I built, the idea was, the mantra was, okay, set it up in less than five minutes. We put all the stuff to set your homeschool up on one page, your school, your terms, your, your students and your courses. Then, based on my other job, my user-centered design job, we followed what people were doing. In this case, my wife and a couple other people. You want to be able to move something that you didn't get done from one day to the next? We did drag and drop. Not because the technology's cool, because that's what people do. For our activity type, usability is our killer feature. What we wanted to do, some, some other applications, you go on a field trip, you have to create it multiple times. We want to allow you to add it to both your students at once. It's these little things in terms of usability and watching people and how they actually do their work that gets it done. In terms of our launch, we did a soft launch, a blog, Twitter, a couple homeschooling forums, a couple hundred people we've got signed up in less than a month, and we get their feedback in forums, and we get great feedback. How do you want to get your name out there? Get involved locally. Things like this tonight, uh, mini bar, the UPA, Get online, obviously people are talking about this, but get in line locally too. Don't be afraid to get up and speak. The things I've learned, just knowing you're not trapped is freeing. Once I knew I had a choice, I felt a lot better. Be aware both of how you feel and of the opportunities that are around you. Do what you love, but be good at it. What we're trying, to, what I, the next steps for me is to grow the Gamal business. We're adding pricing and a full launch to our homeschooling. And then my business partner, his, he's passionate about urbanism, and Urban Milwaukee is a website that he's building. So we're really encouraging both of us to follow what we're passionate about. 
the thanks that I, where I got inspiration, Steve Jobs' commencement speech was awesome. Kevin Spacey in American Beauty. Hugh McLeod is awesome. And then a good friend of mine, Paul Olinchek, said, relax, you could always go back. And that's true for anybody, just relax. <laughs> <laughs>